Hi everyone, this is Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. Um, during this video, I'm going to do a somewhat comprehensive report as far as what's happening here in our greater Toronto area real estate market. We're gonna talk about January, we're gonna talk about February, and I can guide you, I can give you a little bit of perspective. Um, although first and foremost, I'm looking for business. Who do you know that's buying or selling? Call me, call me, call me. If not, hey, maybe they could end up with a mediocre agent, maybe even lose money on their home. So let's look at it. Um, since the average price is the most commonly requested piece of information I get, um, I just figured just to put this chart out there where you can see the, the change in the average price each month. So um, in looking at it, you can see that from January to February 2019, there was an uh, increase in average price. Although, of course, the, the reason I don't like this stat of the average price is because it doesn't take into account that there could have just been less properties sold, for example, in the luxury market, because that would significantly affect things, right? Um, fortunately, if you do compare the numbers from 2019 to 2018, as shown as here, you can see that the average price has increased. If you look at the GTA at the bottom from 767 up to 780. So that looks good. Um, we're seeing our average days on market decrease slightly. I'm seeing it in my listings as well. And I figured just to, to um, just to put this information out there over here, you can see the month by month change as far as sales and listings for detached homes only. So again, this is only referencing detached homes here in the Toronto real estate market. It is important to note that there is a different market for different styles of homes. So detached houses, for example, are selling in a lot more time than typically condominiums. As always, I hope all this information was helpful. If you can think of anyone else that may benefit from this information, just forward the email over to them or copy and paste the link on YouTube. I love feedback, so leave me your comments. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.